Hello, I'm Keith Hilson with the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop, back with another mouthpiece review for you. And today, I've got a couple of mouthpieces that have been out for a number of years, but we haven't had a chance to take a look at on the channel, specifically the Bach Artisan trombone mouthpieces. Um, a lot of times we get to take a look at brand new you know, mouthpieces, instruments, accessories that are just coming onto the market. But sometimes, you know, there are items that have been out there for quite a while, but we get requests from folks. Hey, can you talk about this mouthpiece, that mouthpiece? The Artisan is certainly one of those. This line was developed a number of years ago, kind of as you know, part of the box, kind of looking back at their heritage and in particular looking back at the mouthpiece designs that Vincent Bach was building back in the 1920s and combining that with some of the modern innovations that Bach has in place. So I'm going to be taking a play on a couple of these mouthpieces, um, specifically the 5G and the 5GL, a couple variations of the 5G, and I'm going to be comparing it against a standard Bach 5G. I'm going to be playing all of this today on one of our Lake City large bore tenor trombones. I'm going to take a play, then we're going to talk about it afterwards. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
at the beginning, the Bach artists and mouthpieces are certainly not new. These go back quite a number of years now and were part of kind of Bach's looking back at his her its heritage. Um, we saw this um, more in the trumpet line before. Um, so we had, you know, anniversary centennial models that they were doing with their Bach Stradivarius trumpets and the artists and line and mouthpieces were a part of that process here. And again, the idea here was taking some of the original design features of Vincent Bach's mouthpieces of the 1920s and combining them with some of the, the modern setups, especially kind of the cup cup depths and the cup shapes and some of the throat and backboard to an extent that we have seen uh, with the more modern Bach mouthpieces here. So, you know, in this case, the big differences between the artisan pieces and the standard pieces are really in the rim and the blank. Um, compared to the Bach, standard Bach rims, which are always kind of semi-rounded, right? They tend to be fairly comfortable for a lot of people, but not for everybody. They're not on the thick, but not on the thin side, kind of, you know, balanced. Um, compared to that, the artisan pieces are a little bit thicker. Um, they are a little bit wider, a little bit flatter, and definitely softer outside on the outside of the rim. Um, that is combined with the uh, blank. So it's a, it's a heavier blank, a little bit different shape. And as we know, we've talked about before, the weight of the blank and where that weight is distributed can really make an impact on how the mouthpiece plays. So um, again, so I played on a couple variations of the uh, 5G, specifically the, the standard 5G, uh, which is their deeper cup, just like the standard 5G uh, Bach mouthpieces and on their 5GL, which is a little bit shallower. Um, so what was the experience like compared to the standard 5G. And, and you, you know me, I've talked about, I've been a 5G, 4G player for a long time there. There is, with the right setup, there is something about these mouthpieces. Um, between the two, I think the standard 5G resin, um, artisan 5G resonated with me more. Um, I really liked the, the, the standard, you know, setup 5G there, but with the artisan, there was a little more, I thought a little more weight to the sound. Um, I thought, I definitely noticed that I had more control through phrases. I was able to shape the phrases uh, more and really push through them. And you really kind of control, you know, some of the growth and some of the decay through the phrases that I thought was really, really nice. Um, I found the rim to the rims on both of them, obviously to be very comfortable. Um, I'm not one for really wide flat rims. Um, the, the Dennis Wick, for example, I love how stable the sound is, but I don't love how the difficulty I have in the flexibility. Not everybody has that. I do. Um, with the Bach, I didn't get that issue necessarily with the flexibility. I did like the stability that I got out of the little bit wider rim, and it certainly was very comfortable for me, but I, I don't think I was losing a lot as far as the versatility, moving between the different ranges. Um, with the 5GL, Again, I liked the rim feel. I definitely felt I was pushing a little bit. Um, and what I was experiencing there was, there were times there where the sound kind of bulged a little bit. And sometimes I, I hear that when players are playing and that tells me that they're playing on gear that's a little bit too small. They're trying to put a little bit too much air through that, the mouthpiece or the, the trombone just isn't designed to handle. I was getting a little bit of that with the 5GL. I felt like the sound definitely was a little bit brighter. I felt like it lost a little bit of the depth of the weight of the sound. Um, 
And I felt like it really, when I stepped on the gas, it went from zero to 60 really quickly. So I had a hard time getting the gradations that I really liked out of the Artisan 5G here. Um, you know, and again, comparison, I think the, you know, the standard 5G, it's still a mouthpiece that resonates with me, but there is really something with these Artisan pieces. And I don't think they've gotten quite as much attention as maybe they should. Um, and understand, of course, that, you know, that, that Raymond Shaper in particular is a little bit unique. Um, there's not a ton of mouthpieces out there um, that are having quite that rim, especially kind of softness on the outside. And so I can see it not working for everybody. But for some folks, I can see it being really, really comfortable. And again, I did like just like so many of the other you handcrafted more custom mouthpieces that we play, I thought that there was a little bit different depth. Um, to the sound, a little more nuance to it. And why is that? Is it the blank? Is it exactly what they're doing with the cup? It could be, I, I sometimes think that with these kind of pieces, you know, um, you know, even though it is Bach and these are of course being mass produced, I always kind of feel you can tell if there's a little bit different work being put into them, a little bit different care being, you know, placed into these, the mouthpieces or the instruments. And the result again, are these differences in nuance. And to me, I got a little bit of that, which is, which is really, really great. Um, so, I really am glad that I had a chance to spend some time with the Artisan mouthpieces. If you have any experience with these, or if you have other suggestions, can you take a look at this mouthpiece or that mouthpiece? Please leave your comments in the comment section. We'd love you to be a part of our community here. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, think about subscribing to our YouTube channel so that you can see all of the videos that we're gonna continue having coming out here for you. And of course, you can always find us on Facebook and Instagram. So as always, thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.